For this job we're going to need to get enough fly screen mesh for the size of our door or window, enough of the spline, and also one of these spline rollers. I bought a $3 one from the hardware store. I've got a, a door lock or a, a door handle that's in the way, we're going to need to remove that. Phillips screwdriver, a sharp knife. Now what did I get this one for? Oh yeah, when you're pushing your spline into the corners, but I'll show you that as we go along. You can remove these face plates by unscrewing. There'll be one screw on the side and one on the other. So I'm just going to lay the mesh out so that I've got a bit of overhang around the channel. Some at the top, some at the bottom. Okay, so we start by pushing our spline in. We've got to start in one of the corners and it's easy to do a long side first. So start by pushing your spline in like that. And then you can roll it in with the little pizza cutter looking wheel. Just try and make sure that as you're going up, it's relatively straight. Use your screwdriver to push that in there. Try not to cut the uh, mesh at this point and then keep rolling. Now I don't want to pull on the fly screen. I just want to guide it so that it goes in nice and straight. Push that in there. So we've given the channels, these ones here, brushed down, made them nice and clean. We've bought enough fly screen mesh and we've also had to buy the spline. If you're redoing a fly screen, sometimes you can reuse a spline. Unless it's really perished or brittle, you can reuse it. If you do end up putting the screen on too tight, you can actually pull the sides in of a window. It obviously won't do it on this door because it's got this framework on it. Oh, I've caused myself a problem there. Have a look at this. So I've actually run out of fly screen at this end, which means I've let it go too long down at the bottom of the door. So I'll just pull this rubber profile out. Because this is um, fiberglass and not aluminium, it doesn't matter. It won't have a memory where I've already rolled it into the track. It'll just bounce back nice and flat. I'll bring the fly screen up, try and get it back up here nice and even, and roll it in with the spline again. Now we want to get a knife with a new sharp blade. Run the blade along a little bit of an angle. Don't need much pressure at all. So just work your way around the door doing the same. Quite satisfying actually. As long as you don't cut your fingers. That's the fly screen mesh installed. It looks really good and it wasn't hard to do. It didn't take us too long either. Hopefully that helps you with your project. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you want to. I'll see you on the next video.